Uh, what are all the wonderful things I say about these? Okay, so today uh, I'm going to be putting together yet another video of the mount that we made for the brand new Bell Moto 10 helmet. Not all that undifferent from uh, all the other mounts that we created, uh, but one of the things that uh, I did specifically for this helmet, uh, because it was an option and they give you plenty of space, uh, was I made sure that the mounting surfaces specifically uh, were quite a bit bigger on this one than they've done on some of the other ones in the past. Not that they really have a problem with falling off or anything like that, especially when you mount them right. If you haven't guessed already, uh, one of the things that we do is we make helmet-specific GoPro mounts for the individual helmets, and that means that not only do they mount up specifically to the helmet, they also sit out from the helmet a uh, specific amount so that you can get a tilt back angle um, so that way when you're riding in the attack position uh, wait, when you're standing up in the bars and your helmet is tilted forward just about like that you can fit your GoPro in there and you get a parallel view of the horizon uh, so you get a little bit of your front fender maybe a little bit of your bars uh, but mostly what you're going to get in the frame is your trail and you know that that actual kind of first person perspective that makes it feel um, like you're actually there on the bike first off uh, these are 3d printed mount uh, which is nice in a way uh, because it allows us to make changes on the fly um, if we see things that we can improve in our product lineup now we have about 50 mounts in our lineup so far and one of the things that we just did uh, was we went and we kind of beefed up the forks, the mounting forks that the GoPro uh, attaches to. Uh, and the reason we did that is just to improve longevity, improve the strength of the overall assembly. And uh, we thickened up these outer uh, mounting tabs here just to kind of, in case you crash or something like that, they won't break. Uh, they're real sturdy now. Another cool thing that we incorporated into uh, these mounts is a reverse screw direction. So the screw goes in from left to right, I guess if you're facing the same direction as the mount. And that allows you to uh, have the battery door uh, on the opposite side. So the reason that we did this is that the battery door is here on the right hand side of the GoPro, right? So if you're gonna change out batteries regularly, uh, the screw, if it's going in this direction uh, is gonna get in the way of being able to push down on uh, the battery door to get it open. So it kind of makes it easier for you. And this works with the Hero 8, 9, and now the 10 because the 10 is the same form factor. So one of the last things to know about these mounts is that they are attached to the helmet through 3M mounting tape. Uh, it's really secure. Uh, we check all of our mounts to make sure they hold at least 20 pounds, which is significantly more than obviously a GoPro weighs, but you know, we feel really confident in these mounts and that they're not just gonna fall off of your helmet when you're riding. They're waterproof. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, exposing these to water or anything like that. You can wash your helmet with it. One of the things that we do is that we keep all of the vents clear. So like in this case, you can see um, we don't cover up any of the vents. Of course, the GoPro is gonna be sitting there in front of it. You know, all of our mounts are, are designed specifically to the helmet and that means keeping all the vents clear. Whereas uh, if you're looking for a chin mount, you've probably noticed on like Amazon that there's the kind like the Bane mask kind of thing that kind of clamps on over the front. Uh, and that's just gonna completely cover up all of your vents. We've tried about every single chin mount on the market. And the reason was because the lower point of view between mounting them on the top of the helmet and mounting them down here allows you to get just a better, uh, kind of deeper point of view. It makes it feel a lot more real when you're riding over the terrain, having that you know foot of, of distance uh, when you're riding on the trail. So it just gives you better feel from the GoPro's perspective, uh, makes your videos just look better all around. And the other thing too is if you're not running some sort of external mic on your GoPro, having it sitting right in front of your mouth does allow the uh, audio to be picked up a lot better. So especially when you're running like a media mod or something like that, where you can set the, in the settings of the GoPro, you can make these uh, directional to put a preference on the rear part of the mic so that you can pick up your voice a little bit better. While I'm on the note of the 
media mod, uh, we have designed all of these cameras or all of these mounts to fit the GoPro Hero 9 and 10, since these are the same size cameras, with the media mod so that you can get them in there and tilt them back uh, far enough to get that good kind of perspective on the horizon. So here you can see uh, the camera mounted up, um, the media mod is on there, and you still have enough room uh, in there to get the camera tilted back far enough so that it's horizontal or parallel with the top of the eye port here. And that's one trick. Um, if you are in a hurry and you're just setting up your GoPro, you want to get a good point of view. Uh, you want to make sure your GoPro is set at the right angle. Just make sure that the perspective of the camera is parallel with the top of the eye port and you'll be mostly good. Some people like it tilted down just a little bit so they get more of the bike. Um, just a personal preference at that point. One of the things that we do uh, add to these mounts is um, some little tick marks here around the outer edge and that allows you to kind of have a visual reference uh, so you can see uh, based on those tick marks where you like it set so that way it's just it's just easy to set it and then and forget about it after that. The last cool thing about chin mounting specifically uh, in my opinion the chin mounting position does keep the GoPro, I think, more protected. Now, if you were to mount it up on top of your helmet or something like that, uh, if you caught a tree branch, it could take your GoPro off completely. Whereas having it mounted to your chin uh, just keeps it a little bit more safe and secure and you can see it, you know that it's still there. Um, you don't have to worry about it. It also gives you that kind of center point of view from the rider's perspective. Whereas if you were mounting it to the side, that kind of off center point of view you know, there's just a lot of benefits to it. I think it's probably the best place you can mount a camera uh, when you're riding a dirt bike. The last thing I wanna show you uh, is what you're gonna get when you buy one of these mounts. So you're gonna get our box, which is pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Uh, you're gonna get the mount. Uh, as you can see here, this one's quite a bit different. I think this one's from the, the yeah, this is the Bell MX-9. So different uh, helmet, different mount. Uh, you're gonna get a couple of stickers. You're gonna get an alcohol cleaning pad, and uh, that's to help clean the helmet. When you get the mount, just make sure that it sticks really well to the helmet. And then you're going to get a screw, which we include. Uh, and real quick, I just wanna to touch on mounting these to the helmet. Since I've mounted a ton of these, uh, I've kind of learned some tricks, and I think it's just kind of good to share that. What you're gonna to wanna to do uh, is mount this, uh, since they're you know, uh, mounting pieces on both sides, uh, it can get a little bit tricky to get it in there straight uh, and it can stick and then, you know, you just wanna make sure that you get it in straight. So the first thing you'd wanna do is put uh, the, the mount up to the helmet to make sure that you understand where it's supposed to go uh, and it should be a flush fit all the way around. Uh, once you understand where it's gonna go, you know, hold the helmet uh, I like to hold it between my knees, honestly, and then set it on like that, uh, just because I find it, it's the easiest way to balance the helmet with the mount. But take the mount and pull back on the mounting wings. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to mount it on too far, because if you do that, it's going to be too tight along the inner edge of these uh, 3M mounting tape pieces. Uh, and it's going to stick out along the outer edge, right, because it's going to be too tight here. So you want to get it in far enough, but not too far, otherwise you're not gonna get as much stick on the outer edge. So understand where it goes, uh, pull back on the mounting wings, stick it in right to the depth where you know it should go, and then let off, and then just press down on the uh, outer edge of the, the mounting wings to make sure that they stick down really well. And then you should be good to go. Uh, assuming that the helmet is clean, assuming that it's on there straight, you shouldn't have any issues with this. All right, so that pretty much sums up what I had to say about um, GoPros, helmets, mounts. If you are interested in one of these mounts, uh, click the link in the description below. Uh, it'll take you to our store. Uh, we'll also include a link to our Instagram channel. Uh, most of the POV footage uh, is filmed with these mounts. All you need to do is, you know, to get kind of a feel for that is just check out our Instagram. We did an interview with Graham Jarvis, so if you know who that is, which you should if you ride a dirt bike, we'll also link that in the description below because you know, he's a great guy and he's got a wealth of experience and knowledge and we got to pick his brain for like an hour, so check that out too. Ugh.